you are not going to be that girl that is going to cause people to seize their bread because you took off your pants okay hi besties and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are doing something serious okay if this is your first time please do not make it your last do well to join the community because it is about to get lit okay today i'm going to be sharing with you guys tips hygiene tips that you can use to care for your delicate baby your vagina okay you are not going to be that girl that wants to insert everything and anything into her vagina first thing that you need to do is if you've started you know looking for something that would make your vagina smell like a candy like vanilla like strawberry then it means something is wrong yeah it genuinely means that something is wrong because the vagina has its own natural smell god did not make the vagina to smell like pineapple like candy like but the moment you begin to look for something to make your vagina smell that way it means there is a problem it means you're beginning to um find the smell from your vagina so awful that you're not beginning to look for help now the next the first thing you're going to do when you notice something like this is not looking for whatever that would you know change the smell mm -mm. your vagina is not is not is not a flower okay it's not a flower even though it <clears throat> but it is not a flower it is not going to smell like flora it is not going to smell like strawberry you need to see a doctor that is the number one thing you need to see a doctor if you're no longer comfortable with the smell that emits from down there see a doctor okay now the second tip is you need to take your bath as a young lady you need to take your bath two times a day yes i said that like on some days i bathe three times because if i go out and i sweat and all of that and i come back i'm not going to keep all of those sweats on my body and wait for night time before i take my shower okay so i take my bath and when it is night time again for me i would also take my bath i don't know if that is too much but i cannot go to bed without taking my bath okay so you need to shower properly pay attention to you know hidden corners of your body back of your ears your ear your navel in between your feet these areas smell okay it is important that you pay attention to them bits properly okay now the third tip for you is please keep it clean if you're trimming if you're shaving if you're waxing keep it clean you you can't be moving around with a forest down there because the vagina is also a part of your body it is it is your skin and the skin is one of the largest cells in the body okay so it has pores it, it secretes um sebum okay so you need to you sweat from there you sweat from you think you don't sweat you sweat from there to be very honest okay so you need to ensure that you trim down the hairs because when you don't trim down the hairs when it is bushy and all of that and you sweat this is going to trap bacteria dead and oh my goodness let's not even go there some of you after the whole day you use just water <laughs> you use just water anyways please do what's best for you i am not a doctor to tell you what to use to clean your vagina okay but please trim it down trim down the hairs and yeah okay the fourth tip that i have for you is please it is your vagina canal that is self-cleansing this idea of the vagina your vulva is not self-cleansing if you're going to be true to yourself okay when you go out on the day you know you spent the entire day outside you you sweat and all of that and then you come in please take a tip of your finger you know just go around your vulva do you get what i get and then bring out your hand that's it you need an intimate wash okay anyone at all that you're comfortable with something that is fragrance free something that is soap free that is not going to upset um your ph balance something that is not going to throw it um you know throw out your ph balance and you know make it susceptible to infection better still a baby soap at some point i used kusan baby soap because it is very gentle 
I used it. Please wash your vulva area. It is not self-cleansing. Your vagina canal, it is, is what is self-cleansing. But your vulva is not self-cleansing. Everything that your vagina canal cleanses out in a day drops on your vulva, on your pants, okay? You need to wash that. But if water does it for you, by all means, yeah, great. And now the next tip that I have for you is please, you don't have any reason to insert anything that is not recommended by a doctor into your vagina. Like I said, your vagina is self-cleansing. Your vagina canal is self-cleansing. You don't have to dip anything inside, not soap, anything that is not recommended by the doctor. Please do not insert anything in there because a lot of you, you want to explore, you want, but please, the person you're exploring with is not going to be there to help you when you're all itching, when, you know, the person is not going to be there. So you reserve the right to decide what comes close to your vagina. I'm not here to tell you what to do during your intercourse and stuff, but I'm just saying that the vagina is quite sensitive and you need to treat it as such. Now, my next tip for you, please change your panties. Change your panties as often as you can because when you've used like um, a pants for a very long period of time, it, I don't know, I don't know, please just change your panties, okay? Change your panties. Another tip is prioritize panty liners, okay? Like personally, I do not skip wearing panty liners on the last days of my period, like after my period. I wear panty liners because I don't know some days you'll just feel the period is gone and then you go out there with your pants only to come back with a stain okay and during your ovulation as well wear panty liners and then on other days please your choice of pants is important that brings me to my next tip cutting pants please cutting pants because when you wear a cotton pant it's like absorbs the heat, the sweat, nothing is trapped. It just absorbs it while still allowing your vagina to breathe. So it is important that you wear um, cotton panties. I, I'm even guilty. All of my panties are not cotton, but it is more appropriate to wear cotton panties. Now to the next tip. Um, there's been like this debate on my timeline on Facebook where people would always say if you do not wash your panties immediately after taking your bath, you're a dirty girl. If you stay, if you store your panties, you know, you're a dirty girl. Please, whichever one that you're doing, if you're washing your pants every day during taking your bath or you store your panties to wash them like during the weekend while you're doing the rest of your laundry. Oh my God, less. While you're doing the rest of your laundry, please make sure that you're sun drying your underwear because drying your pants inside the bathroom that is damp with bacteria settling down there only for you to pick it up and wear it again. And you wonder why you're constantly treating yeast infection. That's, that's the reason right there. Always sun dry your pants, okay? Now, this tip is very important, right? Because like I said at the beginning of this video, you do not want to be that girl who takes off her pants and everybody begins to grasp for breath. You do not want to be that girl, okay? So what you're going to do is get yourself an intimate wipe. There's the one from Beauty Formula, which is what I use. It is not irritating. It does not upset my, my pH balance or anything. It's just very comfortable. Or you can just use baby wipes. Baby wipes are for babies. They are not um, harsh. They do not contain any harsh chemicals. All they're just going to do is to clean you up, and that's it. So when you're inside, do well to clean up with water because when you eat, okay, you eat food that have oil, okay, and then when you go to the restroom, you're passing out <clears throat> that contains what you ate, oil. So you cannot go to the restroom and after doing your business, you're using tissue paper. Eh? And you're using tissue paper here too. But me, 
whatever works for you but i'm just trying to share tips with you that would elevate your vagina hygiene that would curb that smell that would make you very confident in yourself as a woman that would make you feel so confident in yourself that you can throw your leg open anywhere okay i i don't mean it that way but you understand what i'm trying to say right so you need an intimate wipe or a baby wipe for for the times when you'll be outside your home when you cannot use water because you're not going to be outside your home where you will use water and then throw on your pants again and everywhere is all wet and no so a wipe is going to be very appropriate after easing yourself you just use your wipe to clean up and you're fresh again imagine easing yourself and just throwing on your pants like that huh you're going to smell you 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 know you will smell even without me telling you you are going to smell so to avoid that Get yourself an intimate wipe or a baby wipe if you're ba not if i know all baby wipes are like bulky and sometimes you just want that like a small bag on our shoulder and we are out get this um cutting board sachet that's what i was using before i got like the um uh, beauty formula intimate wipe you can get the cutting board um sachet and you put like three four that's that sachet can contain like six sheets of wipes just put it in there and throw it inside your bag okay it can serve as you know something you use to clean up after using yourself it can serve as something you can use to clean your hands your face in case you want to reapply your sunscreen or in case you just want to like moist have your hands moisturized and you don't want to put your hand cream on a dirty hand you use the wipes you know clean up and go ahead to use your hand cream or your moisturizer anything okay now when you're shaving when you're waxing that's the next tip please do not ignore your butt crack because the smell that comes from that place if you do not take care of it you you're going to be smelling like a dead body so shave wax whatever your butt crack when you're having your bath go down there wash it with your bathing soap wash the area after take after scrubbing my body with my sponge everything i scrub that area as well once i'm done rinsing my body i touch my soap again in my hands and i take it down there again and rinse it that way when i swipe my hand and bring it to my face it is smelling good and not awful okay and when i'm out of the bathroom and i dry the area with my towel of course i go in with either of these this is my go-to vaseline keep the place moisturized or this one this one would make it smell like cocoa of course it's going to give you the fragrance of the oil but any of this works okay just use it to moisturize the area you, if you do this like consistently your coochie is definitely going to thank you okay like i said earlier if it's beginning to smell awful it means there is a problem see a doctor do not self medicate when it comes to your vagina see a doctor have um, an actual diagnosis and know exactly what you're treating another tip for you empty your bladder whenever you feel pressed when you feel pressed and you try to keep it in you're giving room for bacteria infection so do well to empty your bladder whenever you feel pressed next tip supplements cranberry supplements you either eat your cranberry fruit or you drink your cranberry juice or you take in your cranberry supplement it helps the vaginal flora it just helps everything to stay okay it helps your vagina hygiene a lot and another tip for you eat fermented food if you are following me you would know that i am a huge fan of yogurt i eat yogurt a lot because at size the fact that it helps with my weight loss journey it also helps to keep my vagina healthy and last but not the least tip for you please go to bed with loose clothing loose fitted clothing a gown a, a sleeping wear if it's a pajamas make sure it is free 
do not wear pants to bed unless of course you're on your period okay because you need the area to be aired out you know to breathe i mean you wear pants all day allow it to breathe at night wear loose fitted clothing to bed it is going to help your vagina stay clean and fresh let me know do you have any more tips for the girlies because me i am open to learning it is not just me um, teaching you guys I am also open to learning let me know in the comments if you have any tips that can help down there stay very healthy and clean because the girlies have to like have their confidence you know when you're out there with your partner or when your partner out there wants to you know that go down on you and you're not so confident personally it's not my thing it's not something that i like but if it is something that you like you really need to you know take all of these tips into consideration so that whenever they want to like you are yeah patting the red sea okay thank you guys so much for watching let me know if this video was helpful if you have any more tips to share with the girlies do what drop it in the comment section and if you have watched up until this point and you're not yet subscribed to my channel girl why what are you waiting for please punch that subscribe button turn on your bell notification because lots of content are coming your way do well to give this video a huge and massive thumbs up and do not forget to share this video i will see you guys in my very next video bye besties